Amazing Transformation of Character, May 16. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I shall be satisfied when I awake with thy likeness. Psalms 17, 15. Jesus came to restore in man the image of his Creator. None but Christ can fashion anew the character that has been ruined by sin. He came to expel the demons that had controlled the will. The Lord Jesus is making experiments on human hearts through the exhibition of his mercy and abundant grace. He is effecting transformations so amazing that Satan, with all his triumphant boasting, with all his confederacy of evil united against God and the laws of his government, stands viewing them as a fortress impregnable to his sophistries and delusions. They are to him an incomprehensible mystery. The angels of God, seraphim and cherubim, the powers commissioned to cooperate with human agencies, look on with astonishment and joy that fallen men, once children of wrath, are through the training of Christ developing characters after the divine similitude, to be sons and daughters of God, to act an important part in the occupations and pleasures of heaven. They were purified in the furnace of affliction. For Jesus' sake, they endured opposition, hatred, calumny. They followed him through conflicts sore. They endured self-denial and experienced bitter disappointments. By their own painful experience, they learned the evil of sin, its power, its guilt, its woe, and they look upon it with abhorrence. A sense of the infinite sacrifice made for its cure humbles them in their own sight and fills their heart with gratitude and praise which those who have never fallen cannot appreciate. They love much because they have been forgiven much. Having been made partakers of Christ's sufferings, they are fitted to be partakers with Him of His glory. In their untainted purity and spotless perfection, Christ looks upon his people as the reward of all his suffering, his humiliation and his love, and the supplement of his glory. Christ, the great center from which radiates all glory.